Welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the preview pages of like whatever the pages we have been already created. In previous video we saw like how we can edit the page like by clicking on that we can get the content of that page whatever the content exists inside that page and we can save it as well and we can do editing and all the things and also we saw like uh, we can create a blank page from here like by clicking on that so and now today what we're gonna do we're gonna add some buttons over here and once we will click on that preview button so what it will do it will take us on the preview page of that like web page whatever the landing page we have been created okay, so let's do this so first uh, let's move to the board and create one path over here into the url let's create the route over here first and after that into the preview we will receive the id of that page okay and let's create the function of for reviewing the page okay so dev review page request comma id and let's copy all the things so not this one i think this one would work we need just this thing so just copy it and let's create one template over here okay inside the template folder just create preview html okay and just go into the view.py and over there just make it render inside preview.html okay so whenever this uh, function get called from the uh, path so this uh, html file gonna be loading with the content okay so just go into the urs.py and write it like this view start preview page comma name equals to okay and that's it i think so let's go to the preview.html so we need to extend this one because whatever the uh, css of tailwind ui is there so we need we want to get that css also inside this template so we need to get all the things from there and block and now whatever if let's check this out if condition as well if okay so this if okay so it has been already created if page okay just so write it like page so after that you can write it inside this page html and you need to whenever you render any html string so you need to include this save so you can see so for disabling auto escaping for individual variable use save filter okay so this is a kind of filter like uh, say for the hand interpret it as as html so and uh, whatever the content is string content you are passing as a, and it's uh, already a html content so you can use this save keyword for making it filter so it's gonna be render as a html content so that you can do okay so let's move forward and let's uh, just go into the pages.html first and we need to uh, create button one button over here that we can redirect on another page so let's just create one button over here so i am just after this div if you see after this div i'm just going to create one a tag because i need to make it a link okay. and just href give href okay so slash preview slash page dot okay and just name it preview okay <laughs> now reload your page okay so you can see the all in under all the pages we are getting the preview link and if i click on any preview link so you'll see it's going on the preview link with the id okay so let's see uh, in which page we are getting the content so you can see i'm getting the content into this page okay so there's no any kind of builder whatever the content was saved already inside of this so you are getting over here so same thing we're gonna try for different pages as well so into this you can see this form is coming 
like this you can preview your pages if you are working on the back end code okay i would say this is the last video of my this uh, series like the django with the uh, web page builder grape cheers so after that i will just if you have any queries on guys so i'll create the video on that don't worry but uh, otherwise this is gonna be the last video of the series okay so i hope you guys learned from this series and this video thank you so much guys thank you for watching and do let me know in the comment section if you have any kind of doubt and queries thank you so much